All right, in the last example, we found a basis for u plus v and a basis for u intersection v uh, using a basis for u and a basis for v. Let's um, recap the method in case you have to do a similar problem later on. All right, so to find a basis for u plus v, given the following spanning set for u and v, so I have a set that spans u and a set that spans v, notice I'm not requiring a basis here. That gives you a bit of flexibility. If I you don't need to prove that what you have is literally independent. As long as it spans, the method will work. All right, so you start with SU union SV because like we mentioned in the example, U plus V is the span of SU, oh, sorry, of U1 UK V1 VL. Notice that this works not just in Rn, it works in any vector space. And then you eliminate any vector of the union that is um, a linear combination of the previous ones. All right, to find a basis for the intersection, that's a tiny bit more complicated. Uh, here, you do have to start with bases. Otherwise, you're not guaranteed that what you'll get in the end will be nearly independent. It will always span. But if you have redundancies here, you'll end up with redundancies possibly in the intersection basis. All right, so step one. You set a linear combination of u equal to a linear combination of v. Sorry, BL, VL. All right, and so you want to solve this. You want to solve for A1, B1, BL. Um, notice that in EN, the matrix you get is pretty simple. You end up with um, U1 first, um, U2, then UK. So you end up with all the U's and then minus all the V's. Right, when we send them to the other side, we get an extra minus. Um, if you want to use the augmented, then the right hand side is just zero. Otherwise, you can uh, omit it, no problem. Then you solve for um, A1, AK, and B1, BL. So you solve this linear system and you write the solution in vector form. So let's assume that the solution we got was um, one parameter and then alpha. Uh, 1, 1, alpha, um, k1, beta, 1, 1, beta, l1, and s, uh, sr, and I have alpha, 1r, alpha, kr, beta 1r, beta lr. All right, so we have all of these, and then for s1, sir, in r. Then for each of the parameters here, you're going to get a basis vector for u intersection v by taking these as the coefficients of u1, u2, and uk. So either you could take alpha um, 1i, u1, plus alpha ki uk, or if you felt like it, you could take beta 1, 1, uh, 1 i v1 plus beta um, k, oh sorry, it's not k, it's l for beta, beta l i v l. All right, so that recaps the method.